Hello everyone and welcome to today's video where we are going to talk about mango farming. So first and foremost you need to know that there are many mango varieties available in the market such as Apple, Kent, Tommy Atkins, Van Dyke, Harden, Sensation, Boribo and Sabide. Okay, they vary in shape size, aroma, sweetness, fiber content, disease resistant, and seed size. So you need to select one based on local conditions. So you need to find one that can easily adapt to local conditions, one that is disease resistant, and also you evaluate the market and see what they require. Okay, if the market prefers the large sizes, then you give them, you plant one with a large size. Okay, so the first thing you need to do, if you want to do mango farming is prepare the farm. So you need to plow a farm, then you dig a hole about 60 centimeters deep, deep okay, to allow for root penetration. Then you are going to plant with manure. You introduce manure about a month before you plant. Okay. If you are doing a large scale mango farm, then you can do what is known as soil testing, where you do the testing of the soil to identify if there is any nutrient lacking. Okay. Then you can space the mangoes about three to four meters apart based on how tall they are okay for example if you're planting a grafted variety most of them are very short so you can space them around three meters apart okay then you will plant with a fertilizer for planting then you'll also introduce you will top dress after after three months and after six months okay then in case you are planting at a time where there is less rainfall you will need to water regularly okay during the early stages you can intercrop with legumes such as beans and so forth okay or you can also plant dwarf trees and so forth then you'll realize that your mangoes will be affected by pests such as fruit fly, seed weevil, and mealybugs. So you can buy pesticides and spray them whenever you see the pests. Okay. Then your mangoes can also be affected by diseases such as an anthracos and powdery mildew. Okay, so to combat this, you may have a field extension officer who is close by so that whenever you see the sign, you just get in touch with them. Then they, they, they come and find out which disease it is. Then you can spray it with the right medicine. Okay, you can reduce the chances of your mango trees getting diseases by weeding regularly and by spraying fungicides and insecticides okay in case you are planting grafted varieties they'll be ready after two years but for other varieties if you are planting it from seeds the minimum you have to wait is about four to five years some of them can take even up to eight years okay then you another important thing if you're planting a grafted variety you can harvest it regularly for up to 20 years okay then once your mangoes are ready you can market them to grocery stores supermarket factories or you can export them or you can sell them to factories which will blend them into juice and so forth Okay, so that's all about mango farming. If you have a question, feel free to drop it in the comment section and I'll be glad to reply. See you in the next video.